What's up guys, as you may know from my post last week that I made my own PlayStation 5 scuff controller. And so in this video I'm gonna be showing you the controller. If you want a full step by step guide then make sure to let me know in the comments because it will take me a few hours to make a tutorial so if I get enough likes or comments then I'll make sure to make one. And I'm also doing something I've never done before. Since I switched to keyboard and mouse myself and I'm not gonna use this PS5 scuff controller I'm gonna do a giveaway where I'll give away this PlayStation 5 scuff controller. Only if I get enough support on this video then I will announce it in the next video where I will show you how to build your own PlayStation 5 scuff controller. Without further ado let's just start the video. I always have played with controllers myself and when I got competitive and more serious with gaming I started using the scuff controllers because they have the back pedals of course but I always thought they were really expensive. That's why I made the decision with the PlayStation 4 that to build my own to try it out and the pros was that it was a lot cheaper and it was a really good scuff controller. And also I like to learn new things so that's why I made the decision back then to make a new PlayStation 4 scuff controller. I did this a few times, I sold a few also and now with the PlayStation 5 I also of course needed to make a PS5 scuff controller. If I'm very honest I found it easier to build a scuff controller for the PlayStation 5 than the PlayStation 4 which I found a bit more difficult myself. This one was quite easy to build and if you have a PlayStation 5 and you really want the PlayStation 5 scuff controller then this is perfect for you as there are no scuff controllers for sale yet. And another plus is that it's super cheap since I only paid $25 for the remat kit and of course I also spent $60 on the controller because of course you need a controller to build it. But see it this way, imagine you already have a controller then you only convert it to a scuff controller and therefore only will lose $25 and maybe around an hour to build. It. In terms of supplies you don't need that much and probably you will have it in your home already. So in overall it's very easy to build your own scuff controller and I would really recommend any of you to build your own. What I also really find super chill about the new PlayStation 5 controller is the size and how it fits in your hand. They are literally almost the same as the old Xbox controller and I personally think those controllers were the best because they always felt very well in your hand. Now we're gonna look into the controller and I'll show you that after making this scuff controller that it still works perfectly. Quick side note, I do not own a PlayStation 5 since I play on the PC. But there wasn't an application for the PS5 controller so that's why you see a picture of the Xbox controller. The left pedal is assigned to the circle button and the right pedal is assigned to the X button. And as you see both works perfectly. And for the rest all the other buttons on the PlayStation 5 controller are also working. That's basically it for this video, make sure to let me know if you want a full step by step guide for this controller because then I'll make sure to make one and I also will give away this controller to one of you. Please support the channel by dropping a like and also subscribe if you like this video. Let me know in the comments what you play with, a controller or a scope controller or maybe keyboard and mouse like me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.